G'day Tubes, how's she going? So uh, from that video yesterday there, it kind of seems like a lot of you don't want me to touch the snowblower with anything. So I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to just leave her alone, drive on. Um, I mean, it seems to work pretty good. Just, you know, trying to figure out little things to improve things, you know. Could uh, could always get better, you know, but uh, then it could always get worse too, right? A lot of you were worried about getting her unbalanced or something and stuff. Oop, which I kind of sort of do agree with but uh, so I'm I'm sort of thinking that the only real downfall now is uh, the width of these augers here but maybe because of the size of this machine or this blower compared to the horsepower that we're putting behind it she uh, maybe they figured if you suck too much in she just bung her up too fast and it wouldn't fire it out better or best enough you know so I mean this thing's only like 42 43 horse around there so Maybe that's what they figured, but you figured they'd uh, put you on a narrower blower or something, but I guess they want you to uh, clear out the wheels for the rears, right, and stuff, so you're not always skipping, hitting the snow banks and stuff, so that's the way she works, I guess, so, but, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just leave her like that for now and drive on. Um, that's about all I can figure to doing, so, but, uh, anyhow, we got a nice hunk of 3-8 steel in here and I did cut some some dewies there yesterday figured I'd uh, just cut a few so if I walked in the door there I wouldn't be getting you know ooh, in the gut so so I cut a few pieces here but not, not too many you know there's I don't know 10 maybe something like that but I'm sure I can use them for something and actually uh, this stuff here is really good for uh, uh, what was it on now I think it was actually on this blower that they built is uh, this hunk here it's actually maybe a bit thicker it's maybe a well, it's probably pretty close I don't know but anyways uh, if I'm ever making up uh, something for the front of this that would be a good hunk of stuff for that so yeah someday I wouldn't mind actually making a plow for the front of that thing too you know but uh, I mean probably make it out of these big pieces uh oh again make it out of these big pieces I started to cut you know that would make a pretty huge plow for for that thing but you know I got to make the there's a lot of more crabber mckeating to that there's a you know you got to build the the dewey to hook it to and then say so just just look at this plate thing here to start with so you got to build that thing and then from there out to out to um, some sort of pivoting dewey for the blade to pivot, you know, with uh, hydraulic there to push, push it left and right. So, uh, and then the hydraulics I just hook up to uh, the uh, loader controls kind of thing on. Same thing as the chute, right? Those two uh, ups and down buttons there would be one left, one right. So that would work pretty slick. But uh, oh, there's a lot more building to that, you know. If I could get a, well, you'd have to make it really beefy strong too eh because that's a lot more a lot more push in there you'd probably make that eight foot anyway so it'll be two feet wider than the one we got built now so but uh, that might be a uh, way off distance in the future sometime maybe through the summer project kind of thing that won't be uh, starting out today or nothing you know so <laughs> but uh, yeah anyways so yeah we're just gonna run like that with that and uh, you know drive on so but uh, yeah, I actually had second thoughts too of adding pieces into, you know, those gaps there and thinking, ah, probably would actually start kicking it out more maybe, you know, but as it's spinning, it might out front more. It's kind of thing and make it even worse. So I don't know. We'll just drive on. But uh, yeah, comparing to, I was looking at pictures last night there and comparing, you know, auger thickness, it's actually really small, but I'm kind of thinking they've sort of geared it to uh, horsepower with this thing. So uh she only, holy really, she only drive uh, so much in at one time, you know, so, because if I push her hard enough, it'll actually start loading her in there and uh, making her work, you know, so that's uh, four to three horse getting knocked down pretty good, so yeah, we better just leave her at that, but anyways, uh, today I want to uh, take this thing off, take the blower off, I don't know where I'm going to put it right now, but I'm probably out front for right now, uh, take that off and... Uh, uh, all the paraphernalia for that. I guess I could take the bars off here. These black bars. These are restrictor bars. I think I forgot to show you those yesterday. Those things there. And then 
There's one there for the so you can only lift it up so high and that one there only lets you tilt it forward and backwards so much so you don't unhook your shaft there so yeah that, that would be bad and ripping along and lift it up too high and bling and then the shaft's going you know like like this all around everywhere so apologize for that but uh yeah that's the way she be so anyways uh i guess we'll fire up here and uh get ripping this blower off and i'll take the bars off and stuff and leave them back here maybe Alrighty, so we got the blower off, we threw the backhoe back on, and pardon me, I'm just in the process of taking off the bucket, because I want to mount on that new, uh, oh, pardon me, thumb, whoo. Alrighty, so I'm going to try to do this kind of backwards, um, put the uh, curling part on first, which is the top holes here, and then lift her up and then get the other one in after.
just really tight there, but it was a bit of this cruddy stuff in there. So I guess the next big thing is how it's just going to curl now. Remember the last one we had it a bit too long, eh? So oh, we better put this in first, I guess. Oh, bring it right up. Good. We'll lift her down. Good there. And we'll bring this down. And hopefully this thing curls. Oh, it's too long still. A little bit too long. Oh well. That's as much curl as we're gonna get. There, so that's not too bad. She should have been just a little bit shorter, but this much shorter maybe than she probably would have curled up, but oh well, that's alright. It's gonna give me more reach now too though. So there's right out. Oh wow. That's slots. Lots of out. Sweet. But anyways. What uh, my plan was was to uh, I got a funeral coming up and I've gotta measure over a few certain amount of plots to uh, leave room for other people that I bought there that I didn't put stakes in for her. so what I gotta do is uh, go and clear the spots off, measure them all out and stuff and then take this thing and just go wham 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 in one spot so I can shove a stake in. Shouldn't be too bad, I don't think there's a lot of frost back there, but uh, yeah, should be good. So, anyways, I gotta make up some name steaks and then we'll head her back. Oh man, what do you think? We're gonna be able to move this on the snow here. Far as I can go. <laughs> well, we moved her anyways. I didn't want to rip my uh, roof thing off though. But, uh, well, we got some more down here. We can go try.
seemed to work pretty good there. It wasn't really any kind of a contest for it. It wasn't really any frost, but I think I see a little bit of a bow there. <laughs> a little bit. Unless that was there before, I don't know. But let's see if I can get it for you guys. Right in the center there, I see just a little bit of a bow there. Interesting. Wow, we. What about the backside? Let's, uh. Guess I should have put that second plate on, right? I wouldn't think it would make that much of a difference, but you know, we've even got this angle on here and it's welded here and here, but maybe it'll only bend so far. This side doesn't look as bad. It's all that other side I'm putting all the strain on, right? So. But anyways, if we're going to break her, this is the ground here we're going to break her on. Holy frig, I know this stuff is frozen hard. That, that over there wasn't really anything, so... But uh, anyways, let's get you set up here and uh, we'll see if we can break this thing.
Okay, so we're just gonna have an inspection of any damage. We gave her a friggin' all we had there. And uh, I'd say she's no worse. And that was about probably the hardest digging I'm ever gonna give this thing, so I'd say we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. And uh, back side, yeah, probably should have had that other plate in there. But, you know, worse comes to worse, I could always cut another plate that's this width, slide it in there, and then just hammer the frick out of it in there uh, while they're in good and solid again. But I think we're going to be okay. I think that's going to be a lot strong, but she's definitely not new now. Holy. She's, uh, <laughs> yeah, used. Oh, well. Oh well, that's what she was meant for, so that's locked. Uh, just curl her up at the top here. Wrong one. And uh, fold her away. That actually worked pretty good there. We got perfect clearance there, so it's just the, the swing of it. It's a bit too long, but that's okay. It's okay. Well, let's shut her off. And uh, I'm going to leave this outside for now. Oh crap. Something in a box here, boys. What is it? But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for today. It's just nothing else going on. I uh, shoved back a bit more snow over there. Just, uh, you know, make some more room. Maybe she'll melt that way instead of on the road. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, um... Uh, what else was there? I can't remember. Brain shot. Actually, I got a bit of a headache going on. I don't think I've been drinking enough water today or something. I don't know. So I'll go deluge myself in some bottles of water as I'm doing the editing for this. And uh, hopefully that takes that away. Whew. Must be dehydrated a bit. But uh, usually if uh, you're uh, getting a headache from being dehydrated, you've been dehydrated for quite a while. <laughs> well, that's not good. And, uh, oh, I got something else I got to show you. I don't know if you remember, but in my backyard here, I had that, uh, keyword was had. That, uh, little, uh, uh plasticky shed thing. Guess I forgot to take the snow off it. And it kind of decided to take it down on its own. So I don't know uh, what shape that thing's going to be in, but I guess we'll find out in spring. Looks like there's a lot of snow on it, though, holy. But, uh, oh well, what do you do? Well, I guess we'll open up the last of our big kinders. This is it for the big guys, so uh, I might get some more, but I don't know, pretty expensive 10 bucks a pop, eh? So, ah, uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, so anyways, let's... Hopefully she's a, she's a good one today. And... No rippy tab thing, so... We'll just do a... Super Ginsu thing. And uh, oh crap, I popped the chocolate open. Oh man. Okay. So yesterday, I don't know, somehow I got clips mixed up and uh, <laughs> something got dumped in the end of the clip, which should have been at the start of the opening the Kinder Egg stuff, uh, thingy, so segment. So, but anyways, hopefully we get it right today. And uh, there we go. We have. A normal yellow one. Sweet. Okay. Let's crack this open and see what we get today. Hopefully it's awesome. Okay. I'm not liking the sounds of that too much. Uh, ah, man. No, nope, I'm not. Huh. Well, it's maybe not too bad. I thought it was the same thing that we got yesterday. Man. Holy, it's a something kind of a, hmm, it's a throwing, catching glove thing. Hmm, well, that's sort of wheeled, but let's put it together. So first of all, there's a bunch of stickers. I don't usually stick them on, but I'm not very good at sticking the little wee things on. So first of all, we're going to need this dewy and this green dewy and it gets planted 
this away. That's at your launcher. And there's supposed to be this thing going with a couple stickers. But you guys get the idea of that. Okay, now we got a ass assemble the ball thingy catcher thingy. Okay, there's the ball thingy. And now four is this thing is supposed to be a sticker on there too. I'm not gonna do that. Don't want to. Okay, now we gotta fold out a glove looking thingy here. And uh, this thingy is supposed to slide on this thingy. This thingy away. Something like that, I guess. And uh, that's supposed to go onto there. How the frig does that fit? I understand how it's supposed to fit, but it doesn't seem to. Uh, huh. Huh. Well, we'll make her fit. Kind of like this. And. Oh. oh kind of like that. There. Baseball glove thingy. If you guys could see, it'd be even better, eh? Sorry about that. Okay. So. And this piece, I guess, is supposed to go on. Yeah, the top to hold them all down. Somehow. Like that. Okay. Sort of cheesy, but I guess you've got to play with two peoples with this, but we'll see how embarrassed I can get here. Uh, how am I going to do this now? How am I going to do this? Hang on, i got to put these up a bit. Okay. Let's see if this is going to work. I don't know. Hey! 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 I caught it three times in a row. That's pretty decent. Oh, that's kind of cheesy, but kind of neat. But anyways, um, I guess that's it for big kinders, unless I say I pick up some more, but one of these days I want to fire these things out of that big potato gun. That's going to be awesome. Fill them with water or something, eh? Make them like five pounds a piece or something. That'd be awesome. So, anyways, I guess that's it for today. So you've probably been saying, you're leaving us with a cliffhanger here. What was in the, in the truck in the back of that truck there? Well, you're going to have to tune into the live show, I guess, on Saturday and uh, see what we're going to uh, unbox there. Should be good. So, uh, anyways, I'll put the address up to the blog TV. So, if you need to um, go log uh, an account there or something, you have to do that first so you can join the thingy, so, you know. Um, so, and then you can uh, post uh, questions or whatever if you wanted. You know, it's got like a little chat dialogue thingy where you can uh, join and chat and stuff and... If I catch it in time, I'll ask uh, answer questions for you and stuff, but um, most of the time we'll probably be unboxing whatever that thing was in the box. So you most of you know what it is already, but anyway, it's not a big secret or nothing. So, But uh, Saturday, I'm not too sure what time yet. Um, probably going to be sometime in the morning-ish, because I do have a thing for the, in the cemetery to do in the afternoon. It's not till like 4 o'clock, but... Um, I am going to be busy tomorrow afternoon, so it might be sort of mid-morning-ish, 11 o'clock-ish or something around there. Um, and I think that sh should be it. And uh, if you uh, can't catch the live show, then uh, I will be filming it with the camera as well. And, uh, you know, getting some footage of that way too. So, uh, so if you missed it, you can see the thingy I'll put up afterwards or sort of thing. So... Um, Saturday's also going to be Farm Sim Saturday, super awesome one, and, uh, yeah, so, anything else, I think that's it, uh, tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, other than maybe getting stuff sort of set up for the live show, I've got to make a short, uh, Ethernet cable to run from, uh, like, the one side of the garage where the thingy comes into the modem, run it out to the back, I'm going to run it on cable, because it's wireless, yeah, but, uh, I don't, I'm still not struck on the wireless stuff, so, uh, we're going to probably, uh, just make a wire up. I got uh, the, the ends and the crimper thing and a bunch of wire still in the thing here for category six. So that should be lots good. And uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, that's it for today. Not much else going on. So you guys have a good day and stuff and we'll talk to you tomorrow.